Hi, I'm David and this is a short introduction about the NetIO controller application and the easiness of creating your own remote control for your project in a few minutes. Let's start with the online UI designer. The default configuration shows up on Startup. It is possible to upload and download configurations in a JSON file or to open one of the preset configurations. But at first, we will register a new user in the designer with clicking the register link. Please enter a username, email and password and sign up. A new user is being created and we are already logged in. On the top right we see our username and a menu to open our profile view. We can change user details here and have an overview over our online safe configurations. Every new user has one example configuration which is listed here. All user configurations are also available in the open config menu. We want to create a new configuration, so let's create an empty one. The empty configuration has one page already, which I rename to Hello. Then I add a new label with the Add Item button. On the left, we see attributes connected to the selected item. For now, I just rename the text on the label, which is instantly updated. A grid can be activated to help positioning and resizing items. Alright, let's add a second page in the Pages menu. I name it World and add another item. This time a button, which will send something to our server later on. The Add Attribute drop-down menu contains all available attributes which can be used in the selected item. A button should send something, so add the Sense attribute. Since this attribute is a list, I can add multiple values which are being sent later. Now we need to define our connection details. One connection is already defined, so we edit this one and give it a unique name, an IP address and a port. Now I switch to the page tab and enter the name of the connection which should be used in this page by all item. I do that for both pages. Well, let's save this configuration online. It has been added to our profile and we can see it on the open config menu now. I reload it and give it a name so we will find it in the app later on. Save again. A quick look into the profile view shows the demo configuration in the list. Now we switch over to the app, which is the iPhone simulator in this demo, and start up the NetAero application. We see the default configuration with some demo pages. I now do a shake gesture to show the configuration selection menu. Here I can enter a username and a password to connect to the online UI designer. After hitting the sync button, my user configurations are shown in the list below with a blue icon to indicate that these configurations are stored online. I blend in a simple socket server running on my laptop to which I want to connect and load the demo configuration. We see the app already connected to the server on the left and the demo configuration has been loaded in the app. We see a label on the first page and the button on the second page. And if I hit the button, both values I entered in the designer are sent to the server. So that is basically how the app works. Editing the configuration in your browser, syncing it to the device and then controlling your hardware or whatever you connect to. Thanks for watching and have fun with all your projects.